Never Stop Learning, week 178. We're going to take a quick look at saving and loading selections in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so here I am in a blank document, and I already have a couple guides set up, and they're just going to help me build my selection. All right, over here in the Tools panel, we have the Marquee tool. I'm going to click on it once to activate it, or you could just hit the M key on your keyboard. Right over here in the center of my document, I'm going to click and drag to start drawing out this uh, marquee. Now I'm going to hold down the Option key, and that's going to allow me to draw out from the center. Now that I have my rectangle set up, I'm going to release the mouse first, and I have the beginning of my selection set up. I'm going to hit Shift M to access the elliptical marquee tool, and because I want to add to this selection, I'm going to hold down the Shift key. Now that my cursor has changed, I can click and drag and introduce the Option key to draw it from the center. Once I have my lip set up exactly how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and release, and now I've created this new selection. All right, because I took some time to set this selection up, I want to save this off because I know I'm going to use it over and over again in this document. In order to do that, I'm going to come over here to the Select menu up at the top, scroll down until I find Save Selection, and when I click on that, I'm greeted with this window here. At the top, we have Destination, and that's this whole section right in here. Right here you see it's uh, for this document, basicselection.psd, and that's the tab that we're currently working in. It's showing right here, we're going to have a new channel, and we're going to give it a name right here. So I'm going to call this New Shape. And down here at the bottom, the operation is we're going to end up in that new channel. All right, I'm going to click OK, and there you go. So we've created a new selection. Right away, you can't tell exactly what has happened, but if we come back over here, I'm actually going to deselect this guy by hitting Command D, select, and then at the bottom, you're going to find Load Selection. When I click on it, it shows the source, the document name, channel name is going to be New Shape, that's the one we named it. Over here for Invert, we're going to be able to invert the selection if we wanted to. I'm going to leave this unchecked. And over here for Operation, we have several different uh, operations we could use, but currently we only have access to New Selection. And I'll show you how to work with that in a little bit. I'm going to click OK to accept that, and that's going to load that New Shape selection that we created. Over here on the right, I have my channels. I'm going to click on this panel to activate it. And down here at the bottom, you're going to find New Shape. I could click on it to activate it. Or if I click on RGB, it's going to activate the RGB channels again. But I also have access to a keyboard shortcut. I can hit Command 6, and you see it brings up that channel. All right, I'm going to hit Command 2 to bring back the RGB. And let's switch over to this other document right over here. All right, I'm going to hit the W key to bring up my quick selection tool. And I need it to be a little bit bigger. I want to make a selection right around here. So I could use my open and close brackets. The close brackets are going to allow me to make a bigger brush. So I'm just going to click and drag. Now I've selected this area here. I'm going to continue to add to my selection, but I need a smaller brush. So I'm going to use the open bracket. There we go. So now I could get into these tight spaces right in here. There we go. Get a little bit of this white, come in here. All right, I'm not going to get everything, but check this out. If you go a little bit too far and make a really big selection in here, just hold down Option, click and drag, and it'll start to remove that portion of the selection for you. All right, let me get a little bit in here, and I'm done. Oh, right down here. All right, now I'm done. All right, because it took me some time to create this selection, and again, I know I'm going to use this over and over again in the document, I might as well save this off. Back over here at the top, select, save selection. It's the same document, AJ14s, you see it right here. The channel name, we're going to call this guy, just call this right foot, and click OK. All right, down here in the channels panel, you see we've added this right foot channel. And if you don't see your channels panel, you come over here to the window menu, scroll down, and just click on channel. All right, get rid of that. All right, because I already have this loaded up, let's see what happens when I come back over here and try to load a new selection. All right, now we have more options over here under Operation. You see we have New Selection, which is what we used earlier, but we could also add to our selection, subtract, or even intersect with our selection. All right, so since this is the same shape, it's just going to replace the same one anyway. But you can see if we have several different selections saved off, how we'd be able to add or subtract or intersect from our selections. And there you have it, folks. 
That's the basics for saving and loading selections in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.